Welcome to the Aero General Service Channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti, and in today's video, we have a home that's experiencing a large amount of flooding in the front of the home that's causing water damage all along this front exterior wall, and it's causing all the ground and area to erode out here and for dirt to pile onto the porch as you can see how dirty the front porch is right here. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting a couple catch basins in and we're gonna be grabbing these gutter downspouts and we're gonna pipe them all into a system and we're gonna send that main line all the way to the road and let it discharge on the road. That way we get this water and we evacuate it out. And we're gonna be grabbing another gutter right here towards the front. It's already in its own line, but it backs up so this line is clogged. So we're going to unclog the line and then we're going to pipe that line into our system. Okay, so we're going to start by laying our main line down and we're going to mark on either side of it with some marking paint. This is ground marking paint. It's non-toxic and it washes away with water. So it's okay for the environment to use, but you want to go ahead and draw your lines on either side of the pipe. That way you have a good visual of where your trench is going to be. Now, once you have it marked, you're going to start digging. And as you can see here, there's a sewer line that we're going to have to have our main line for our drainage line go over because we're not going to be able to go under the sewer line because if we go under it, we're going to lose too much pitch. So this is the kind of stuff that you have to be aware of when you're putting in your drainage lines. You have to be aware of the pitch and whether to go under or over things or around things or if you just have to... Uh, divert whatever that thing is that's in your way you might have to divert it around your main line so in this case it's a sewer line so we're not going to divert that obviously we're just going to go over it now as you can see we're using the sawzall to cut through some old tree roots that are here there was an old stump that was under the ground that we didn't know about and we didn't know about it until we hit it with the shovels you know sometimes that's just how it is at the majority of the trench dug and as you can see it's a little bit wet in the trench because we use the hose to help us go underneath that that front walkway sidewalk so it's a lot easier if you use a hose and we're going to go ahead we'll put a catch basin right there in that low spot to help catch all that surface water and carry it out now, as you can see we got we dug underneath the sidewalk here and the pipe slides freely that way we can work and we can adjust the pitch of the pipe as needed So as we continue digging the system and laying our pipe, we're gonna be checking the level to make sure that the bubble is going the opposite direction of the way that we want the water to go. Now, if that bubble is just a hair off into one direction, then just know that the water is going to flow the opposite direction. That bubble does not need to move much to make water flow. So now we're gonna be inserting our second catch basin and we're gonna be using the bell end method to go ahead and secure our pipe into the catch basin exactly where we want it at the, at the perfect height and depth. So that's what we're doing here. Now this other line, all we had to do was just dig it up and pull the roots out of it and it flows perfect. And we'll go ahead and we'll just connect that into our system so that water will be taken the rest of the way to the road. Now, because this system is on such a far run and the yard didn't have a lot of fall to it and in order to maintain our slope within our system we're going to put a percolation tee at the end of it that way the water can drain out of the system completely once the rain event has ended and it will slowly seep into the ground as things dry out and as the ground water goes down and then that'll dry the system out completely because you don't want to have water sitting in your system now when it's raining hard this system is going to flow out the top and it's going to flow out the top very quickly um, i am going to go back and get some footage one of these days to a system that we have a percolation tee on that way people can see how it works um, not using a garden hose like in an actual rain event so right now we're in a drought and i'm waiting for the rains to kick back up which should start here soon so when that happens i will be going out and finding one of our systems and getting some footage so just give me some time and be patient and we will have that video up as soon as possible all right so now i just want to go ahead and clarify some things um we've gotten a lot of comments on the percolation t you know a lot of people say oh well when the street floods or the sidewalk area floods or whenever the area floods where the percolation tee is, 
then water will just go the opposite direction back to whatever area you're trying to drain out that is draining towards that percolation to you know people say that oh it, it won't work well here's the thing when neighborhoods and these developments are, are built all these roads are designed to be sloped very very slightly a certain direction the gutters you know the, everything is sloped towards storm drains i mean there's storm drains throughout all these neighborhoods so one way or the other the water that's going on these roads they're going to find their way into the storm drains now if the storm drains get overloaded and the storm drains get flooded then yeah sure the roads are going to start getting flooded and it's going to back up and obviously everything's going to get backed up so but in, in an event like that you already have the city's infrastructure backing up so there's really not much more you can do obviously that's a really heavy rain event it's a that's a huge storm so it's just that is what it is but on any normal thunderstorm or average rain event the water is going to drain just fine through the street and it's going to find its way to the storm drain and it's going to be evacuated to whatever area those storm drains lead to the percolation tees they work just fine when they're flowing into the road like that they're not going to get backed up if they do get backed up that's because the city storm drains are backing up everything is flooding out the, the whole neighborhood's flooded out so it doesn't really matter at that point you know what happens all right guys well we hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like comment and subscribe and we appreciate all the support that we've been getting it really means a lot to us and if you live in the tampa bay area or surrounding counties and you have a rainwater drainage issue in your yard just give us a call we can come out there and assess the situation and design a system that fits your needs and until next time this is aero general services signing off